All right. If you ever buy a phone, don't buy a T-Mobile Revel. <laughs> don't waste your money. Go out and buy that new Galaxy. My my bad. I really do not like this phone. So anyway, <laughs> enough about the phone. I'm here to talk about vents. And uh, so <clears throat> I just want to go over sealing vents really quick. I'm using Mastic, of course. Uh, you want to make sure you seal your vents in your home. Um, and you don't want to use metal tape or duct tape or any of this other stuff because that stuff doesn't last. So I'll try and show you here what we've done. You're going to need a mirror. You're going to need some mastic. You can get that at a hardware store. And uh, I've actually cleaned these vents. I went down and got a chimney brush and cut it down to fit the vent size and ran it through with a, uh, oh, what do I use? PVC pipe. And uh, I used, you know, I got 90 foot runs or 80 foot runs, so I used uh, about 30 feet of PVC and then reached my hand down in the vents to, to clean it. But this stuff was, all my vents, prior owner had had an animal and it was peeing in the vents, so all the vents were nasty. So I, you clean them first, so you want to clean them and you want to use a hospital grade disinfectant to clean all the crap out of the vents. Then uh, go through and, and clean them. I used a chimney brush. I didn't really want to scratch the vents, but I had no choice, so I got them clean. They're healthy now. And now we're sealing them. So if you take a look here, uh, you want to grab your mastic and you get a rubber glove and try not to cut your fingers. But if you take a look here, you can see there's a little tab there, a triangular tab. It's kind of hard to see. And you're going to get that mastic up inside those creases between the tabs because there's inverted tabs on this. On this boot, so they cut a hole in the in, in the plenum, and then they drop these boots down, and then there's tabs that bend underneath. There's tabs here, right, all the way around. So that's what you're trying to seal up underneath them. Putting uh, a good amount underneath them, you see a spot where I missed. So right there, there's a little hole, a couple of them. But I'll be redoing this here tonight. One more layer of mastic. I just wanted to show you here what, what to look for. So you see those those tabs there. You want to make sure you really get that in. So you got to really feel for it. You feel for it, you'll know. So grab yourself a mirror, some mastic, good flashlight. Uh, when you're all done sealing, you want somebody to hold the flashlight above the vent. And then you're going to be underneath the house looking at the vent. If you see any light, you know that you're going to reseal some, some areas. So... Um, just a little heads up on sealing, uh, sealing these ducts. Now let me show you why. I've also got rid of all them flexible ducts. That flexible duct stuff that I'm going to show you is garbage. It's a good way to get mice in your home. You come outside here and we'll go take a look at what we've done here. So I've removed all this plastic flexible duct work in my house. It's just, in my opinion, it's no better than that paper garbage you put on a dryer to, that they claim to be a dryer vent. Let me show you what's going on. So the problem you have with this junk, your R rating's crap anyway, R4.2. Wow. You can put mud on it and get that R rating. But this basically, what we have is just a, a plastic lined metal duct. I know it's hard to see in the sunlight. We'll get over back here in the shade. But it's really thin plastic. And what happens is the mice will get up. They'll get up inside it. What they'll do is they'll they'll tear through this outer layer to nest. And then they'll eventually chew through the inner layer. Because this stuff is really thin. I mean, look at this. See that? That's all you have in there. Really? I mean, tinfoil is thicker than this. There's your, there's your vapor barrier for your heating and cooling. And there's your insulation. Some more pink garbage. So anyway, this is why I pulled this. If you look inside here, see that rat's nest? Ain't that lovely? So what they do, right there, there's the hole. See it? That's exactly what they do. They chew a hole through this paper thin plastic and nest in your vents and then they get access to your house so I'll be going under the house I'll do another video I'll show you what I've done to solve this issue but if you have this 
this plastic garbage in your home, <laughs> I highly recommend getting rid of it. Your R value is not that great. You can do better. And you want rigid pipe and all your ductwork anyway. You don't want intrusion from mice and insects and rats and God knows what else. And if you, and if you don't have a sealed uh, basement or crawl space, hell, I've heard of possums going up into these things and squirrels. So um, just a heads up on sealing up the uh, uh, boots on your ductwork in the house and then uh, why you want to get rid of this garbage. So we'll be crawling under the house here in a minute. And I'm going to show you what I've done, and I'm going to tell you. We're going to go underneath there and do some testing on a, with a thermal uh, temperature sensor and see what we got for uh, the stuff I'm using to insulate my vents. So we'll see what it comes up with for uh, temperature difference. So, All right, hopefully this helps somebody out on sealing vents and why you want to get rid of this garbage.